All right, you need to rotate a beam antenna around an existing tower. How many uh, antennas do you want to turn? It's it's a little simpler with with a cantilevered one mounted off the back, but you can do it with regular antennas. This represents the standoff. It's mounted this pulley here is is mounted to the tower. And it doesn't turn, but it's got a groove in it. And then you can see the belt crosses. So when it moves, it'll move this one out here. So when you move this, you got a motor down here turning this. And when you move it, the one to one ratio, when it gets around here to 180 degrees or 90 degrees from where it started, it's pointed south. You want to go the other way, 180 degrees back the other way, pointed south again. Now, if you're pointed south and your stop is at the south, like we do here in Florida, most of us, and you want to swing around a little bit more to the west, and you can't go any further on your regular rotor, all you do here, you just move it around another 40 degrees or so, and you're talking to Fort Myers. You don't have to swing all the way around the other side to get Fort Myers. Same thing if you're talking south there and you want to go Palm Beach or somewhere that's within 40, 45 degrees. And that all can be regulated by the difference in the size of these pulleys, what the ratio is. So, and you can see it would actually come on around where it's at. I mean, you, you can actually go, oh, I don't know what it is, what the degrees is. I mean... There to here is 360, so you add another, you know, 50, 60 degrees to that, you know, so it's just a matter of how far this, you put this out and make this arm a little bit longer. You got a little bit of bearing work to do, but it's not a bad deal, you know, and it's, you could operate it with a, with a 12 volt window motor if it's done right. Now. It's your problem how you index it to know where your antenna's pointed. That can be done too. You need to talk to somebody that's well above my pay grade.